Engadget has touched down in Vegas for CES, and unlike doing our usual where we track all our steps using wrist-worn health trackers, this time we decided to do something a little different. Eight of us will be wearing Hexoskin's biometric health tracking shirts, and that means to sleep in everything for the first half of the week. We'll see how we do, but the whole idea is that it collects data from everything so given the usual CES grind, I predict a big decline. We have people of varied fitness abilities, and some of them will be working out while they're here. Some of them will not be, but they will be walking a lot. So let's see how they do. Oh my God. You don't have to go and jump around. That's up. I feel like a pumpkin in a condom right now, and I, I, can see. I think I like it. Download the app. <laughs> yes, I'm listening. Can you download the app and try to seek it? Yeah. Okay. The trend seems to be wearing health trackers actually inside clothing with manufacturers like Nike among them. We picked this shirt to try because it's a small company, but it's been around for two years now, so we really want to see what it can do. <laughs> yes, there's an instructional video. <laughs> yep, that's it. You're good. The sensors connect to skin inside the shirt and can collect additional information wrist-worn trackers cannot get to. The newest of these is the ability to track respiration even overnight. The app syncs with iOS and Android. <laughs> so I like wearing the fitness trackers and stuff because I like counting my steps. I like quantifying things. I like data. I'm a big nerd. And you know, at the end of the day, if I get to look at my wrist and say, oh, I burned a whole bunch of calories, it makes me feel better about my terrible eating habits. This week, I'm using the Apple Watch also, um, just because I know I'm not going to be doing proper exercise much, but I'm going to be walking around a lot. So I'd feel a little better about myself knowing um, how many steps I'm taking. I'm thrilled by the prospect of having even more data. Uh, I think I'm going to look like an idiot in it. The data will reflect that I'm spending the entire week locked in a trailer, ba barely moving from my seat. It's just going to be a lot of flat lines of nothing. What are we doing? Like jumping jacks? I can feel the shirt capturing all my data. In the shirts, the sensors are located uh, in two bands, one at the chest level and one at the waist level. So that's where the breathing sensors and the cardiac sensors are located. And the activity sensor is located in the electronic device that is on the right side of your waist. In the case of smart fabric, uh, what we have in the shirt is uh, what we call dry electrodes. So they will work well under uh, good skin conditions, which are usually the the moist skin conditions that you'll have when you practice a sport such as running or cycling. And uh, the shirts now can connect to a bunch of third-party apps uh, for fitness such as Strava and Runkeeper. So what you want to know is not only you know, how good you are today but how you evolve in time. We have many different types of users. So we have users who play in the NBA or the NHL and we have users who are passionate about running and cycling. But we also have users who don't do any sports at all. Hello and welcome to the Engadget stage here at CES 2016. We did, we wore those shirts. We, wore, we tried real hard to wear those shirts. Joining me here is Terrence O'Brien and Michael Gorman. Um, some of the great, the great three, I guess. Uh, the, the, the big three. The, the greatest. Who, the greatest. Yeah, I think oh. that's a better way to put it. We've yeah. already failed. Um, a lot of people didn't continue wearing them, but I feel like we, we three. We tried. We, 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 we tried. We did better than most, True. at the very least. Yes. <laughs> I, got, I got a full day's worth of data. How's that data you know, treating you? Uh, not well. Apparently, I'm going to have a heart attack at any given <laughs> point in time. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was tracking my stuff in the most accurate way, but I know that like my heart rate was up in... Uh, like over 150 for most of the time that I had the show. <laughs> that, that sounds like CES. Yeah. So let, let's start and talk about how how there's a whole thing even into even putting these shirts on yeah. and this and not even exclusive to Hexaskin the shirts we all wear yeah. wore but um it, the connections are very important and they have to be really tight so yes. go. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I, I felt like I was wearing Spanx all week. Yeah. It was like a wearable lap band surgery basically. <laughs> yeah. It's I think that those shirts are really most Really, the only people they're flattering on are like professional athletes. Hate those people. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, my, my stomach has moved into my chest permanently. <laughs> but I mean, also, while you can wear them, you're not supposed to, right? That's okay. So, yeah. So, we all, the first day, I wore that shirt like I meant it. Yeah. I, 
I had like chafing. I rarely wear shirts like I mean, and I'm just kind of <laughs> half assing my shirts. In, yeah. Into the shirt. That sounds like you. You just yeah, do yeah. it for professional reasons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's very important. There are these bands that he talked about in the video. Um, and the sensors are key because they collect your heart rate and, and respiration. Yep. And in the app, it is cool when it's on and synced. You can actually see yourself breathe, mm -hmm. which it is weird. It spikes when you breathe deep. That's a little creepy. Yeah. yeah. I was like, <laughs> but I, so the problem was they have to be so tight, um, and they would say dampen the sensors, right? I found out damp I wore the thing 24 hours without getting it to work. Yeah. And then I realized dampen meant just make it totally soaking wet. Yeah. And then I got it to work. Well, because ironically, I mean, the shirts are meant to be working out, so I guess it makes sense that they would work better when you sweat. I think apparently it's kind of based exercise on that is good. Go figure. Who yeah. needs that? <laughs> there is none of that at CES. No, no, no. no. It's a lot of bad food, though. But there's walking. Yeah, for Lots some of, of you. walking. Yeah. Uh, I so, how did you both use the shirt? Uh, I mean, I guess w I, I squeezed myself into it, and. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I wore it around for the, the entire day on Sunday when we were doing some of the big pre-show mm -hmm. events. So I was running around Mandalay Bay and uh, Showstoppers and stuff. Uh, we did some run-throughs at the stage, but mostly it was sitting in the... Sitting and typing? In, yeah, sitting and okay. typing in the trailer. So, But even still, like I was checking in on my heart rate and everything every so often, and uh, my resting heart rate is normally like pretty good like normally high 50s uh it's been like almost 80 the entire week <laughs> so far it's good to know michael how about you so i uh, you know I, I first off i just want to say i love that there is a how-to video how to put on a shirt yeah. for these things <laughs> this of all of the shirts though that needs a how-to need video it. this one as you <laughs> could see in the video earlier christopher trout was having some <laughs> real problems just putting the thing on they're going to roll up behind us. Yeah. So enjoy. So you'll see that. You'll enjoy see that. Chris Trout's naked torso again. The, the You're struggle. Welcome. The struggle is real, y'all. Um, but I put it on, and I was I was wearing like I did a little bit more moving around, I think, than Terrence did. Um, it's largely kind of uncomfortable. Like the fact that they have the sensors, like the one right across your chest and the other one across. Like there's seams in the bands that kind of rub you in places you might not want to be rubbed, let's say. Uh, it chafes a little bit. That's Nobody basically what it. I'm getting at. Let's look at your information yeah, you on see the what app. I, did I want to see how Michael actually did, because yes. the self-reporting never works out like no. you hope. So we can see I have my one day. All I did was work, Good which job. is appropriate for Good CES. Good job with the working. So you can see my heart rate spiked at 202, apparently. That is, that is pretty much like... <laughs> cardiac arrest. Don't about die, to die on us, please. You might <laughs> yep. witness the death of our editor-in-chief. This is my last CES. <laughs> um, yeah, so it looks like that was only for nine minutes. Most oh, of the time it was resting, you know, for most of the time I was around in, in the 70s. That's terrifying. Like. I didn't realize it was that high. Yep. Well, I, so I think that might have been a little bit because I didn't ever, I, because mine was working, I didn't have to wet the, the sensors or anything. So it was picking it up, but I talked to the Hexoskin folks very briefly about that, and they're like, uh, it, you may not get as accurate a results if it's not wet. So mine was functional, but uh, it wasn't functioning I properly, see. it sounds like. So my, I slept in mine because I needed somebody to sleep in it because that was my whole thing. I'm like, yeah. no one's going to. So I, I sure. finally dampened the whole thing, got into bed, froze, and slept for five and a half beautiful CES hours. And uh, yeah, it, it picked it up. It's actually really cool. There is something about data that's just really cool to see. It's yeah. really gratifying. Like, even if it's not particularly useful in the immediate, like, because you have to figure out a way to act upon that data. But it's still very gratifying. You just see, yes, I slept exactly that many hours. I was yeah. in a very restful sleep for this portion of it. It was terrible. Yeah, yeah. It's terrible sleep. Yeah. So, how was sleeping it in the shirt? It was fine. You weren't uncomfortable? I know, I was totally... No, It because, you know, right, think about it. You're moving a lot less. So we, I was getting chafed before when I wore sure. it for that entire day because all the movement. But, yeah, sleeping what? Nothing's happening. Yeah. Just tossing I, and turning. I, I find that really yes. hard to believe. But I swear it was fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, so let's talk about the... Tr this, so, and the other reason we wanted to wear these shirts is because there is this trend. Wearables are going to be in fabric. It's yep. not going to chafe for much longer. Let's hope not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> any have you seen any other things like that that or interested in other things? Terrence, I know you've tried other wearable shirts. Yeah, um, I tried out uh 
polo has a uh, very similar one. It's a much thicker fabric. You're definitely not fitting it underneath anything. Like this no. at least is a pretty thin fabric. You yeah. can wear it under normal human clothes. That was the um, nice thing, yeah. Uh, so that was good. Like nobody necessarily would know I was wearing it underneath everything. The polo one's a significantly thicker fabric. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, it's they're they're all very similar in that they have these sensors built in. Um, and a weird thing, their sensor doesn't plug in. It has like snaps that you have to do, yeah, snaps. which is like weird. It's like trying Ugh. to it's like trying to buckle jeans on the side of your body. <laughs> uh, it's not great. So, um, <laughs> okay. So what I'm hearing is is that we've got a ways to go before wearable uh, wearables that you are clothing or yeah, not quite I mean, there yet. I, I think the big thing uh, that a lot of them are going to have to figure out, though, is this comfort thing. Like, because this is this is a step in the right direction. You know, the polo one isn't like abysmal. I didn't put it on and immediately go, "Oh God, this has to come off." Yeah. Except for when I saw myself in the mirror, which is a very different story. Nobody wants to hear it. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> this is not a therapy session for no. Your body please, God, just parents. because it's the couch. <laughs> um, but so that so just to say, uh, it was a challenge for us. We wanted to wear them as long as possible, but the idea behind them is that you wear them for a workout and you take it off. So yeah. then it's. No, probably nothing bad is happening. Because I was going to say, like, I, when I wore mine for the full day, I mean, the little tracking uh, brain in the shirt was out of juice by the end of the day. Yeah. So I wouldn't have been able to wear it to sleep in even if I wanted to. you got to choose one or the other. That is a good time to tell you about what's going on with Exoskin. Let's, um, let's hear it. So that shirt that we wore was actually launched about two years ago. Okay. But at this CES, they have a new one, which is basically the same. And even the, the computer, the module looks the same, but uh -huh. it has a much longer battery life. So that must have been a complaint they'd heard. Very important. Um, so if you are interested in Hexoskin, um, you can get the shirt and a kit for $400. Yeah. Um, some people ha want multiple shirts, like serious athlete types. Yeah. Like me and you. Well, you, well, you know, you, you're not doing laundry every day. You can't be wearing right. a stinky shirt. Uh, that you, you need to be damp. Um, yep. Just the shirt is $169. Okay. Um, wh what's cool about these shirts is they... Um, NASA astronauts wear them. A bunch of professional athletes wear them. They have deals with other like perf like people where they need these metrics yeah. at all times to you improve know. their performance. Astronauts. And yeah. So say you are applying to be an astronaut in the space program and you're rejected ridiculously, you can wear a shirt and feel almost as good. Yeah, you can practice. <laughs> practice. Discover the moon. It is. It's very good to practice. Yeah. Practice being an astronaut by wearing a shirt. <laughs> I do it every day. <laughs> I've got like a helmet that I put on. I walk around my apartment. That's good. Put on. It's While you're cool. shirtless, though. Scare the apparently. crap out of my dogs. <laughs> it's good. Any final thoughts? Health tracking. Future. So I feel like for what we did, I think it's pretty clear given that Hexoskin actually has their stuff on astronauts and people that are professionals and care about yeah, I mean, and that, I, I think that's sort of the thing is a lot of this stuff, uh, even though it's cool to see at CES and we're trying it out, it's not really made for the average person. Like all of this stuff, like it's really expanding this idea of wearables and all of the data you're collecting. And it's useful to people like NASA, but ultimately a lot of it is probably going to be lost on the average American who just wants to go out and go for a run and call it a day. Right, and they just want their heart rate yeah. Yeah. and their little like, wristband. Yeah. This is good enough. Yeah. But, I mean, it is interesting. You know, I think as the technology gets better, battery life gets better, everything gets smaller, the circuits are better, and sensors are better integrated into the, into the clothing. You know, I mean, we've been seeing this for a few years now where we see the shirts coming out. Hexoskin's a couple years old, but it's getting better. I think that's the big, that's the big takeaway. I mean, if you'd have shown that shirt five years ago, none of that would have been possible. So in right. another five years... It may be more like a regular shirt where you've got conductive thread running through it and sensors that are just woven into it, and it's far less obtrusive for folks wearing it. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the day when, so the sleep number bed that's here at CES, yeah. you know how they have the sensors in it where it can track your heart rate and all those those biometrics? Yep. So theoretically, we're going to be so like scanned and measured, and there's going to be an app that calls it all. Good times. What a magical future that will be. Wee. All right, so we're going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for joining us here at Engadget CES. We have way more coming at you, and our live show continues through Saturday. So you'll see this is just going to go downhill, yep. my yep. prediction. We're all going to start looking more and more ragged with each day, I dark circles under our eyes. You already do. Yeah. Speak for yourself. I only get better with Edge. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Thank you. See ya.